Being able to live stream without wires was pretty challenging until this camera came along. Once I'm live, all I have to do to cut between the camera angles is just tap, tap, tap. It's really that simple. They made an interchangeable lens, low light 4K camera with a 4 thirds CMOS sensor. It's about to blow your mind. Logitech has just entered the chat. Introducing the Mevo Core. Okay, hot take, right out of the packaging, I was floored with this camera. We're going to get into the details, but first impressions, this definitely comes off as a cinema quality camera. It's like they took a bunch of cinematographers and content creators and put them all into a room and said, how can we please everyone? The answer was a compact box form factor, quarter 20 mounts on all four sides for vertical or horizontal video capture, and little touches like USB-C for power and a built-in battery that actually lasts. It's clear that this was designed for pros and average shows because of the features and simultaneously the simplicity. Shout out and a big thank you to Logitech for sending these over and while this is a sponsored video, you're getting an authentic demo today. It takes micro four thirds lenses, has built in Wi-Fi 6E support, and you can connect any number of Mevo core cameras to the Mevo multicam app so you can wirelessly adjust all of the professional settings, including focus, optical zoom, and aperture. Did I mention you can zoom in wirelessly at the tap of a button? No follow focus, no fancy gear, just the Mevo core camera and the Mevo multicam app. As someone who often finds themselves in on-the-go filming situations, I can't stress enough how much of a game changer the Mevo core's battery life and wireless capabilities are. It's such a relief to know that I have plenty of juice to capture every moment without being tethered to power outlets and I see the capabilities stretching well beyond just streaming. There's some forward thinking here since you can plug the camera into a computer and use it as a webcam. If you're wondering what the footage looks like, you're looking at it. This is being recorded right now on the Mevo Core camera. Here's a quick overview of the camera body itself and then stick with me because I'm gonna show off a live demo. On the front, there's two tally lights. The top of the camera has a built-in three mic array, but the back is where you'll get all of the input and output. I'm digging how slick this is. And at first I was hesitant to use a camera that doesn't have a screen or a menu system on the camera, but after playing around with it for a bit, I'm actually glad they did that to keep such a small form factor. I'm also thinking about how this makes the camera far less intimidating if it's being used on a live stream. It's much easier to tuck this away without distracting attendees or event speakers and performers. It also won't require heavy duty tripods, meaning I can use a variety of grip gear to mount this practically anywhere. This camera can capture 4K video and it streams in HD at 30 frames. The massive six hour built-in battery really impressed me because that's plenty of time to set up a camera and test everything before going live with still plenty of juice to run for a three or four hour event. Most of my live streams involve two to three hours of setup time, but this might cut that time in half. But enough talk, let's actually set these cameras up and see how simple it is. I've got the Olympus 14 to 42 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6 lens on one camera and the Lumix 45 millimeter to 175 millimeter f4 to f5.6 power zoom on the other. All right, so tripods over there, time to get our cameras up and running. First camera, uh, man, these things, they're, they're tiny, but they're, they're built tough. It's got like a metal housing to it. Uh, all the inputs are protected here. On the back, there's like this little rubber cover to protect your micro SD card slot, your HDMI, and uh, there's like a little reset. So if you ever had to factory reset for whatever reason, that's there. But I just, I love how compact this is and how easy this is. I just, there's no screen to flip open. There's no settings to fumble through. That's all gonna happen on the app once we get it connected to the app. This thing's just gorgeous. So we have our two Mevo core cameras mounted to our tripods. The next thing we need to do is get the Mevo multi-cam app up and running and synced to the cameras. I'll open up my Mevo multi-cam app. There we go. So now we have both of our cameras visible inside the Mevo multi-cam app. It really was that simple. I mean, pop up two tripods, 
put the cameras on the tripods, press and hold the power button, it goes on after a couple seconds. We open up the Mevo Multicam app and there's a very intuitive, easy way to connect the cameras. And now I can see both cameras right here on the Mevo Multicam app. So I can actually get into my shot here where I wanna be and I can go into the cameras and adjust things like focus or zoom. Like this one right here, this wide shot, it looks pretty good, but I'm gonna open up the image control and we're gonna adjust the zoom and focus just slightly. So I'm gonna double tap on me to make sure it's focused on me. And then we'll go to zoom. We're gonna zoom in just a little bit. And now I've got my, my side angle. And to make sure that it doesn't look identical to this camera shot, I'm gonna use the zoom in. Let me see if I can tweak this. Yep, that power zoom. Oh my God, it's so nice and smooth. Get that in focus. And I mean, holy moly. So all I did in maybe five to seven minutes max was set up two tripods, mount two Mevo core cameras onto the tripods, got lenses on them, press and hold the power button to start it up, takes maybe a few seconds. Once it's started up, I go right into the Mevo Multicam app and I can connect the cameras. It took me maybe a minute to get them up. It's really intuitive. The, the menu, the interface, super easy to use. And now I'm just sitting here, just tweaking, fine tuning, like, okay, I'm looking at the wide shot and it's mostly exposed, but the tight shot could be a little bit brighter. So let me go into the tight shot. I'll go into image control and then I can just kind of scroll through. I've got exposure adjustments. I can go into manually adjust it. So like ISO is at 400 right now. Let's say I want this closer to ISO 800. Maybe that's a little too over. So let's bring it back a hair. We're doing this all wirelessly from the app. We've had to set up all this gear for so long and I just did a two camera setup in under 10 minutes. Let's say we want to live stream. There's a live record and out button. So let's go to live. I can select my streaming platform. So in this case, we could do Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, uh, stream to X or Twitch, uh, custom RTMP. Let's see, custom RTMP. So if I needed to add it, I can add in my RTMP streaming server URL and stream key. I don't have one on hand right now, so we're just gonna do something really simple and easy. Uh, let's go into YouTube. So we can choose my live stream test with Mevo Core. Privacy for this one, just since we're testing, we're gonna put it on private and our date and time, hit save. We will record it as well and we'll press go live. Now, once I'm live, all I have to do to cut between the camera angles is just tap on the screen. Tap, tap, tap. Now, I don't need a switcher because I can do it in the Mevo Multicam app. It has built-in NDI and SRT support, so I'm seeing a lot of really nifty ways to use this in the future like a wireless camera on a gimbal or being able to place these in locations that you can't typically place a camera and an operator. Now I can because the operator can adjust the camera wirelessly and we're cable free for the video feed. I've always tried to find ways to reduce the amount of equipment that I need or to travel lighter and this won me over. Simply charge up the cameras, pack them in a bag with some lenses, a few tripods and you're off to the races. Don't forget your Android or iOS device so you can use the Mevo Multicam app. Wow, I'm finally getting cinema quality live streaming capabilities in a compact form factor that's cable and wire free. The ability to zoom optically though, without needing camera operators, is icing on the cake in my book. I can now go from needing multiple cases of equipment to now fitting nearly everything I need in a backpack for a multi-camera production, and I don't need to sacrifice image quality or the ability to switch between multiple cameras. If you want to learn more or simply grab the Mevo Core for yourself, I've got a link down below this video for you. It'll retail for $999, and I'm stoked to see all of the new wireless setup streamers will be making using the Mevo Core. Thanks again to Logitech for raising the bar. Until next time.